An interesting art exhibit opens up later tonight in Big Fork at the Big Fork Art and Cultural Center. And with more on that is Stoney Samso. Stoney, thank you so much for visiting with us uh, on this Friday. We really appreciate it. Hi, Mike. Pleasure to be here. It, this is, it, I, I love the title of this. It's called Seen and Unseen, an interwoven tale of art and science from the Flathead watershed. So what do you have going on uh, in Big Fork? Yes, yeah, so um, our exhibition is highlighting a collaborative project between the Flathead Lake Biological Station and Open Air Montana. We're a place-based artist in residence program that connects artists with unique sites, such as the Biological Station, um, for four to six week residencies. And this exhibition is featuring 10 artists that have been in residence at the Flathead Lake Biological Station over the past three years. And so people who live in that area or, or around Western Montana are, are going to probably see artwork that they might even be familiar with. Is that right? Quite possibly. A lot of these artists, though, are also from across the country. So we have regional artists as well as uh, national artists who have participated in this program. And additionally, in this exhibition, one of our artists in residence who is a local resident featured plain air sessions where she invited uh, individuals to come during COVID um, while her residency was happening to come and paint on site at the biological station. And so those works will also be on display. And what kind of, are we talking about one specific type of art, watercolors, sculptures, or, or a, a wide variety? Primarily, this exhibition is featuring two-dimensional artworks, but of varying mediums. So we have photographic works, we have paintings, drawings, um, a cartoonist who is just wrapping up his residency. So many different mediums, but primarily two-dimensional. And so this is really uh, interesting stuff. We've seen some pictures here of that, and, and have, it, it, you'd call this unique, wouldn't you? Absolutely. I think it is very unique and interesting for it to have this kind of exhibition um, of this caliber happening in Big Fork, Montana. And it, and it runs into uh, September 25th, starting tonight, going through September 25th. Is that right? So people will have a, an opportunity to see what's going on. Absolutely. Please come on down. Will some of these artwork and, and kind of what I was getting at earlier, will they, will they feature scenes from uh, Flathead Lake? I mean, scenes that people might recognize some of them? Yeah, so with the, for example, with the artists who are participating in um, Sandra Marker's plein air excursions, uh, plein air is a century old tradition where individuals go into the environment and through observation render what they see. And so those works will have um, uh, scenes of the biological station, but there are also more artworks that are kind of abstracted or conceptual where the artists have been working together with the scientists to create works inspired by the work that's being done and the research that's being done at the station. Now we just have 15 seconds. I know this has been a collaborative effort to get this all together. Who has helped put this together from uh, your organization and others? Absolutely. So um, we are Western Montana Creative Initiatives and the Open Air Program, and we've worked closely with the Flathead Lake uh, Biological Station and the Big Fork Art and Cultural Center here in Big Fork. Very good. Stoney, thank you so much. Good luck with the exhibit. Can't wait to see it. And uh, hopefully we'll have a chance to uh, visit with you some other time down the road. Thank you, Mike. Nice to talk. Montana This Morning will continue after this.